this video, the thermal effects of a laser beam projected at a distance, are tested, and the power acting on targets placed at fixed distances is measured. A laser head, used in CNC laser machines is used in these tests. The laser is with blue light, with emission of 450 nanometers. What interested me, in this experiment, is the transport of energy at a distance, so it is evident that I am interested in the diode capable of providing an output beam with the slightest divergence. The divergence of a laser beam measured in milliradians is proportional to its wavelength and inversely proportional to its diameter. So the light beam, emitted by a 450 nanometers diode laser, blue light, will have less divergence than a red light, 630 nanometers, or infrared light, 808 to 980 nanometers, laser. In the same way by enlarging the diameter of the output beam, we will have less divergence. So to make a long distance pointer, tens of kilometers it is essential to increase the diameter of the beam at the start, that is, use a collimator. For my part, the choice of the diode to be used in the experiments fell on the blue light one. There would actually be an even more suitable diode, it is the violet light one, 405 nanometers, but the maximum power available is only 3 watt and is expensive. For that test I had to do, I needed a diode capable of rendering a minimum of 10 watts of optical power at the output. I found an energy of 40,640 laser head. The product with the required specifications. Visible on screen. This laser head built to work with CNC machines. Has two 6 watt laser diodes inside, the two beams, are appropriately combined, with a polarized beam splitters, and a 12 watt beam is obtained at the output. The laser head, has inside all the electronics needed to power the two diodes, and is supplied with two electronic boards. A, adapter board, and B, PWM signal generator board. The video shows, how to connect these two electronic boards, to power the laser head with power supply or 12 volts battery. The source must be able to provide 4 to 5 ampere. In point 3 of electronic board A, one button to turn on, off the laser, for test only. The command to turn on off, is given by the switch 1. The voltage of 12V sent to the PWM input, is interpreted by the control electronics, as a PWM signal at 100 for 100, and turns on the diode at maximum power. Electronic board B, is a PWM signal generator, and serves only for laser testing. With this board, you can adjust the output power from 0.1 to 100%. The board in addition to the PWM command buttons, also has a button for reading the temperature reached by the laser head.
Thank you for your attention. To the next.